everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it looks like we're finally going to get some kind of a theme with the weekend characters. Uh, it looks like we're getting the entire Judgment Day faction over the course of February, starting with Damian Priest. He is a focused trickster training ability. This is kind of interesting. Uh, 21k, black moves start with two more move points, and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. So this looks to be a new brand of trainer. We're not getting a full replacement for Matt Hardy, it seems. This is like the third... Is it the third? No, it's the second batch of, of increased strength by one trainers. Um... But expect to maybe see the other five colors. Links, modern era, gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. I assume that we will get a Judgment Day link next weekend when, I don't know if it's going to be Balor, Rhea, or Dom, whatever order they decide to do them in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the latest blog post where they talk about getting the different members of the Judgment Day. So we can expect versions of them. Uh, but no tag link as of yet, since Priest is the first one. All right. I got three builds I'm going to show in this preview, and then we're going to talk about the six-star. I do have them five gold, so I can't actually preview the six-star move, but I can theory craft a build for it. Uh, first build's going to be available at three-star. It is double red with purple two. Red one is the Razor's Edge, four MP, deal 49,526 damage and make 10 random gems into three turn countdown gems that will deal 45,007 damage and make two random gems into red gems at the end of the countdown. Red 2, the Jumping Corkscrew Roundhouse Kick, 6 MP, deal 74,226 damage plus 45,101 bonus damage for every countdown gem. And Purple 2, the Choke Slam 3 MP, Deal 38,110 damage and decrease your countdown gem timers by three. Entourage for this, we have another countdown character that the free Ridge Holland is going to benefit. Mine is four bronze, so we're only doing 30% instead of 100. So we're going to be using him. Uh, Butch for red MP. Zombie Rhea for 35% more damage to our countdowns. And uh, Texina for the extra countdown gem. If your ridge is still fairly unleveled, you may be inclined to use Acro Jimmy for one countdown gem or the revamped King of Kings, uh, the subscription, the VIP subscription that will give you two extra countdown gems. So that is an option as well. Um, of note for this build, Zombie Bianca is the ideal coach. I don't have her. Uh, but she would make sure that you cover the board in red gems. She is the moves... And gems that generate red gems will generate three more. Um, so she'd be the one, but we don't have her. This is what we're using instead. For the belts, uh, we're going to stick with Full Fury the entire time. Red percent for this build. And we're going to use the Ultimate Opportuna Z plate. Whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. Um, and this is a 4 MP move, so if we get a red match on turn 1, we can stack the plate twice, maybe even three times. We'll see. And uh, we're going to go against Butch. So class disadvantage for us the entire time. New 5-star gold versus new 5-star gold. And let's see what Priest can do. My man's got huge arms. First off, let's, let's slow this down for the people. Um, it looks like we got a red match, so excellent. Let's take a look. 12k. You can get out one set. You can get 74k. Again, Ridge is only 30%, so you're still missing 70% from that. Uh, take our red match. I'm not too pressed about losing one of the countdown gems. 
So it's 12, now it's 17. Put out another set. Uh, so now it's 21, and we're going to decrease our countdown gem timers by three. So it's going to trigger all of them. If you don't have one of the Z plates, you could use the What the Rock is Cooking plate. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. That'll ensure that you recycle the countdown reduction in case you don't happen to get a four break. But uh, over two mil, turn two, with a Z plate, class disadvantage meaning nothing in this situation. Fairly straightforward and that plate can stack a few times. Uh, let's go ahead and look at four star. Four star build we're going to take a look at brings in the blue moves and the finisher. The finisher being hit the lights 10 MP, deal 110,042 damage, make 22 trap gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. Blue one is the arm bar 7 MP color submission. Choose eight gems to make into purple submission gems and do 123,845 damage for three turns while Submission Gems are on the gem board. Submission Gems turn into Trap Gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 45,101 damage and randomly respawn two Trap Gems. So we're bringing back the zombie HBK mechanic with the spawning of traps. Um, if broken by you, steal up to 45,101 health. And the really cool thing about this build, blue two, it makes trap gems. They do the exact same thing as the traps left behind by the sub. Thank you, Scopely, for the continuity. Blue two, middle rope diving flatliner, seven MP, deals 79,184 damage and make 14 random gems into trap gems. Again, if broken by your opponent, you respawn the traps. If broken by you, steal health. Um, entourage we're going to use for this is Lawler for blue MP, Jinder for more traps. I don't have Acro Dragon. He would definitely help. Um, I am going to use Zombie Dominic for three more blue gems on the finisher, and he gives us a kickout bonus. And then uh, Shobo Nakamura moves and gems that steal health will steal 100% more health. So if he's working properly, which I don't think he is, um, we should be stealing 90k per. Uh, belt, we are sticking with Fury. We've brought in a purple percent, and you don't really need a plate for this build. If we had a plate that increased red and blue gem damage after a submission, that would be the one. But since it doesn't exist, um, I just threw on a smoke plate to help with recycling in case something goes horribly wrong. Whenever you break three or more blue gems, get three purple move points at the end of your turn. Um, so my tour perks are not at the plus two MP level yet, so we gotta take a swipe here. But that's okay. And I'm going to put out the traps first because then when he's trying to kick out, he can scatter some more traps around for us. There's plenty of board. So we won't have, I've tested it a few times, we shouldn't have an override problem. That being said, now that I've mentioned it, we're probably going to have an override problem. Uh, but we'll see. Take our three match. That's ready to go on the next turn. Secured. My initial concern was that he would break the traps and it would cover the board and we'd lose our submission gems, but not the case. Uh, so 10,000 on our blue. Unfortunately, blue is his third strongest color. Um, so damage output wise, this is mid, but it's the health stealing from the traps that are really going to make it work. And zombie Dominic. Makes it all happen. 1.75 mil. It was showing as 45k. I don't know if it actually worked or not. I don't really care either way, to be honest. I think it's the similar glitch to um, King Woods not replying properly to the bleeds. It doesn't show, but it actually shows. And I, quite frankly, have not slowed down my videos to do the math. 
Um, and don't ask me to because I just, uh, I don't know. Someone else can do it. I do a lot of things. Someone else can do it. Let's look at a five-star build. Five-star build is going to use the blue moves as well, but it is going to bring in the reversal, which is the five-star move. Six MP, deal 178,666 devilish damage. Uh, kick out of pin and swap 10 random gems to blue gems. Uh, gems broken during kickout do not deal damage to the opponent, and you cannot kick out when in danger. So we're keeping the entourage exactly the same. Um, but instead of Dominic adding more blue trap gems, or blue gems to turn into trap gems, trap gems that turn to, you know what I meant. Um, he's going to add three more to the kickout. And we're going to keep the smoke plate on as well. To maybe, you know, sneakily charge up this reversal if something goes horribly wrong. The thing about this is, like, I hate reversals because you have to get pinned and you have to just wait to get hit to do anything significant. Um, I would never use this offensively. This would be if I have him on showdown and I want to piss people off, I'd use a sub and a reversal and say, good luck beating me. Um, so we're just going to swipe a bunch of times to see what happens when we get pinned. Mm hmm. All right. Okay, don't pin me yet. I'm not ready. No! Oh my god. This son of a bitch. I wasn't ready! Like Santino in the Rumble. I wasn't ready. Ugh. Jerk. Now I gotta just burn these. Whatever, it's cool. Okay, pin me. And now he won't. Go figure. Go figure. We can still put out our trap gems, though, and stay alive. So, submission, reversal, and trap gems that steal health. Top tier. But now he won't pin us. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Oh, we can't even do that. Wow. It's brutal out here. Um, okay, well, he's gonna pin us next turn, so... Just minimize the damage. Yeah, I hate reversals. Unless it's carrying cross. That one's just disgusting, so... All right, so we take some damage. We swap 13 random gems into blue. We actually get our moves charged up. Hell yeah. And we need what, one three match? Excellent. Problem is the pin bar is way over here now, so. I don't know. We'll see. The finisher is much more efficient. This would just be to annoy people. Wow, and it's actually taking, like, the spaces on the board that it can't- it's not actually covering things up. That's incredible. Um, okay, let's do that. Steal some health. No cascade. That's fine. Let's steal some more health. If the reversal was higher damage, if it was like deal half a million damage and convert some gems, I may be more um, invested. But as it stands, it's more of a just use it to annoy people.
Excellent. And then we should just be able to swipe and it's done, right? That's the other thing about reversals is the pin bar gets all screwy. Uh, but that's the five star move. That is the five star move. Let's uh, talk about what he's got at six star and the fun things that you can do with him there. So for me, when I looked at the builds, um, the six star move worked well with the three star moves um, with the countdowns and the countdown timer reduction. Um, I believe it's eight MP, uh, but red three is a super kick that forces your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. Um, so what you could do is run the razor's edge with the choke slam and the stun. Um, Entourage, you could use King of Kings for more countdown gems, Taxina for more countdown gems, uh, some red gem damage for a coach. Um, in terms of plates, you could either use um, what the rock is cooking, whatever you break red, get purple MP, and that would make sure you're in uh, recycling every single turn. Or because you have a two turn stun, you could roll the dice and use a Z plate and say, I can get a red or a purple swipe. Um, and then you could just stack the damage and it would help nerf um, a six star kick out. Because the Z plate, I feel like, is designed for the six star meta. Six stars got this ridiculous kick out boost. Why not use a plate that reduces their damage? Um, so that would be one suggestion. I mean, you could also do triple red. You could also do triple red, but you're waiting the three turns, and by then the stun is likely done. Um, so I would be much more inclined to use the choke slam in conjunction with the razor's edge. And then when the stun is loaded, the stun is loaded. And go ahead and use that. Uh, but that is our first look at Damien Priest, The Judgment Day. Again, a focused trickster. New brand of trainers coming out. Black moves start with two more move points. And multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Again, not a Judgment Day tag link yet. But the blog read as if we were going to get the three remaining members. That being Finn Balor, Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley. Um, it read as February is Judgment Day month, there's going to be a blitz on the 20th for getting all three Judgment Day members. Assuming Rhea is the fourth, because if they're going to do a blitz, it's usually not intergender. So curious to see how that plays out. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe a tag link will be established next weekend when the next one comes out. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.